beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria and guys welcome back to another plus size clothing haul try on. Today we are doing American Eagle. Now I will go ahead and link for you my most recent one which was Amazon sweaters. I will link that right up there for you if you would like to take a look at that guys. It was quite it was quite a situation. We had like some good things some not so good things and uh, if you're just into sweaters in general and you want to see a good hearty little laugh check that video out. But there are a couple of things that I said in my Amazon try on haul that I also want to mimic here just in case you are new and uh, you don't know me my body or like what's going on this is something that I think I might try to either revisit or come up with a short little synopsis for for every single clothing video because I think it's really important on the internet to showcase all types of bodies and structures and the way that we're built and just to give you a little bit of a backstory on me I do have a brain tumor I have gained and lost a lot of weight over a hundred pounds twice in my life and ever since that has happened my body has changed a lot I'm not your traditional plus size girl I don't have big boobs I don't have a nice round like juicy butt I don't have an hourglass I don't have like a super defined waist I'm really just like a bag of flour <laughs> and it's lumpy it's bumpy but it's my body and I'm okay with it and it's taken me years to get here and my goal with these plus size try on hauls is hopefully just to showcase a different style or a different type of plus size body because everybody plus size or not is just fine there's nothing wrong with yours there's nothing wrong with mine everybody's is cool it's kosher it's copacetic and we need to just come into a world where everyone can be free and happy to be what they are and to be happy with what they're working with so that's kind of the premise behind why I started these videos and I just want you guys to know going into it that is my backstory I love hearing from you guys down below and thank you for all of the love and the support that you gave me and the Amazon one that meant so 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 much there was so much love in the comments and I can't tell you how much that means to me some I was always so afraid to be myself and to show my body and to show any part of me and knowing that it's so well received and that we've come so far in this plus size world and it just we have a long way to go but it means a lot so thank you guys so much for that now let's go ahead and dive into slight specifics here these jeans that I'm wearing right now which I will go ahead and throw on like an up close that way I'm not moving around for the mic a ton but these are the AE 360 next level highest waist jegging they traditionally retail for $49.95 I got them on sale of course for $34.96 and these are in the shade deep navy and a size 18 regular and I really really love these these are my favorite cut of American Eagle jeans I love where they fall which on me I don't think you can see it perfectly obviously I'm still working on this whole uh, uh, full size body situation here but they do hit me like at the lower part of my ankle but they are the absolute perfect length for me for reference something I didn't mention in my last video I am 5'7 they have the perfect amount of stretch and what I love 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 about their jeans and again I get them in an 18 I love that they fit me in a way that is very flattering but also very comfortable now as far as reference just for um hitting me wise this right here is my belly button so you have like a, about a two inch I would say give on that if you like them high-waisted overall again they're jeans are my favorite it's really hard to talk about and showcase jeans I think the best thing you can do is just show them and be done so these are the jeans but now let's go ahead and move on real quick to the pullover you guys this pullover is my world it is so nice it's cozy it's knitted and again I'm gonna let you see the close-up here while I talk about it but this is their AE Bowsel crew neck oversized sweater originally retailing for $59.95 and I got it on sale for $41.96 it is in the size XL in the shade cognac now for me this again an XL guys this thing is gigantic I almost returned it before this video and exchanged it for a large because it is so so big it has a great length on it again it actually comes down just about to that line on your tummy so if you're a little bit more insecure about that this would be a good way to kind of camouflage work with that a little bit it has a ton of room on and around the back again this is an XL so I think there was maybe one size larger than this out of everything I purchased these are two of my favorite favorite items that's why I wanted to talk about them first because I knew I was going to talk a lot girl they are so so cute yes all right, now next up, I did go ahead and leave on the same jeans, but let's lead off with this sweater. Um, of course, let me consult my little handy dandy guide here. This is the AE striped oversized button up cardigan, originally retailing for $49.95. I've got it on sale for $34.96. It is in the color multi, obviously, because it is multi striped and it is the size XL. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, when I first saw this on the website, I was super excited. The way that it was modeled, I loved everything about it. And receiving it, I will say it's pretty 
pretty close to what I pictured. I do feel like as an XL on me, it fits a little bit boxy, but overall I like the style of it. So I think if I keep it, I might have to size down, exchange it for a large. Let's go ahead and move past that into this little devil right here. Now this is something I actually picked up strictly as a layering piece for a couple of these shirts because I wanted there to be something on underneath. But nonetheless, this is their AE plush scoop net tank top and it retails for $19.95. I paid $13.96. I purchased it in a size XXL and again in the shade black. But let's go ahead here and have a little discussion. Number one, this comes in a ton of different colors. So if you don't like black, you don't like the vibe, you're like, hey, I love crops, whatever, but you're still trying to figure out that, be sure to look for the color section on this because there are a lot of different um, options in that respect. And as far as sizing goes, again, just to kind of, you know, show you guys, there is a lot of room in this. There's a lot of pull in all directions. It's incredibly, incredibly soft. I also like that it gives you a nice full coverage on the back here. It tapers in a little bit, as you can see, but it's a good coverage all around. So if that's something that you're into, maybe, you know, you, you don't like your bra strap showing, what have you, you do get good coverage in this. And I just wanted to kind of throw it out there just for a little versatility, show you guys I don't just wear sweaters, even though, who are we kidding? Yes, I do. And I don't know. I like it. I think it's cute. All right, on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. All right, you guys. So real quick, I did want to throw this one on as well. I just went ahead and popped it on over that crop top right there. And this is actually one of their outdoor jackets. Now, I didn't anticipate picking up one of these, but when I saw this on the website, I was like, oh my God, we need to talk about this. We need to see how the design is, the fit, and all of those good things. So this is their AE Fuzzy Sherpa Bomber Jacket, originally retailing for $99.95. And I got it on sale for $69.96. It is, of course, specced out in the shade black, but it is a black and off-white kind of cream plaid in a size XXL. And the first thing I want to mention with this that I am so grateful for is that it is actually completely lined. So if you are someone like me who can't handle texture and you're worried about how this is going to feel, just keep in mind that the sleeves of this are actually completely lined all the way down to the end. I'm just showing you. This is the entire sleeve inside out. Girl, she is completely lined, which I'm so happy about. Now, as far as the fit on this little guy here goes, I actually think I could have went one size smaller and I still may. I'm not 100% sure. Just because when I wear a jacket like this, um, especially with this type of like a print or a design, the odds are I won't have a ton on underneath of it for like outdoor wear or anything like that. But as far as an XXL goes, I'm really happy and impressed with this. I feel Feel like they did a great job cornering the plus size market for this jacket because it does come down I mean completely over my butt like girl you can maybe barely see a little cheek action down there but that is it honey other than that we are completely covered um overall I like it again keep in mind it is a jacket it's not overly form-fitting so keep that in mind um I like have a ton of room like this is my body this is the jacket so I could probably size down um one size I'm not sure if I will yet but all that means is that there is a little bit more give a little bit more more room in this coat overall. So I just wanted to show it to you just so you knew that you had options in this respect. I love it. And I was really excited to see this on the site because y'all, as a Northern Michigan girl, I don't know if you know this, but this whole lumberjack thing, it might be a phase for the rest of the world, but honey, this is my life, okay? And I am here for it, girl, yes. All right, now moving into this next piece, I did go ahead and put on the teal version of that black tank top. Obviously, we already talked about that, so I'm not gonna get into it too much, but I just wanted you guys to have a little bit more contrast between the hoodie and the tanks. So that's what this is. But let's go ahead and talk about this hoodie because obviously this is what we're here for. So this is the AE Fleece Slouchy Zip Up Hoodie, originally retailing for $49.95. I got this on sale for $34.96. Obviously it is in the color black and it is a XX. L. Now, let's go ahead and talk about one of the keywords in that description, which is, of course, the fleece aspect. That is this really, really nice, soft material. I really, really love this right here because I feel like um, when you are someone either with fibro or maybe you're just like not into hoodies because they don't feel luxe enough to you or whatever the reason, a lot of people don't love the aspect of a sweatshirt where they just feel like straight cotton or terry cloth or whatever. They just have like that, I don't know, not, not overly luxurious feel. And I like that when they created this, they actually did like... Kind Kind of a nice sultry moment on the inside nice really um delicate feeling if you will and then on the outside you still have that nice slouchy baggy moment with a regular hoodie which i think is really nice now
Now moving on from there, you also have your standard zip right here. Um, nothing too crazy. This doesn't give you any real structure or shape to it at all. And for myself personally, I think that I will have to get this in a different size if I choose to keep it because I like the length on the arms. I like them when they go over my hands a little bit. That's just a personal thing. Um, obviously, if you don't like that, keep it in mind. They do have a lot of length to them. But for me, what I don't like about this is the way that it hits my body. And this is where I'm having like a kind of a conundrum because I know if I size down, it's going to end up higher on my hips, which I won't like. But I also feel like now as it sits, it's just got too much like I, I can just, I can move it too much so it doesn't give me any shape. So for me, I don't know that this one is my personal favorite. I still wanted to throw it in here. Obviously it's a part of the haul, um, but I just, I don't know if it's my fave. You guys can tell me what you think. I just, like it, it doesn't throw me one way or the other, but I love like the texture and the feel of it. Like this is what's getting me because I feel so like nice and warm and I feel relaxed, but together all at the same time. And I love that it's doing that. Um, I just don't know if the fit is my favorite. All right, so I thought we would take a second here in between pantal items and uh, take a look at a little dress. Now, I will go ahead by the way and I'll get into like the fit of their dresses here in a second, but this is the AE plaid shirt dress retailing originally for $44.95 I picked it up on sale for $31.46. It is specced as the color red. Obviously, it is a red and black flannel plaid design, and I picked it up in the size XXL. Now, let's go ahead and start talking specifics about this because I am really impressed with the fact that it even fits. When it comes to American Eagle, especially for me, one thing that I find that does not fit me almost ever are their dresses, jumpers, like anything like that where it goes from top to bottom, and that's because their stuff is very very often geared toward like smaller frames or petite sizes, that sort of thing. And they are just, you know, they're doing good branching out into the plus size realm. But when it comes to stuff like this, it just doesn't often fit. So I wanted to kind of give like a big old kudos for that because this is impressive. The fact that it will fit over my big old beefy man shoulders is great. Now let's go ahead and talk um, like texture and all of that. It is incredibly, incredibly soft. I know the, um, the close up doesn't really show the texture of this one specifically, but it does have have a very nice soft flannel texture to it, which I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As far as sizing goes, it does fit me very well. The only thing, and I'm sure a lot of you notice it as well, is that it does look like I have a pucker right here where your buttons kind of come apart, and it actually doesn't. This area fits me very well. It's just more so that's where it naturally is wanting to fall open. So I would probably just take a tack or something and hide it behind there. It's not a big deal. I have to do it on some of my shirts. Um, it's just not because it's busty or like tight right here. I just wanted you guys to know that. But all all of these buttons are functional so if you're like hey brown chicken brown cow I want to show me off a little booby in my flannel you can do that too you have a lot of wiggle room um, in that sense which I really appreciate especially if you are on the bustier side and you know hey this part doesn't fit you maybe you want to wear a tank top maybe you don't maybe you just want like some good cleavage right there you can open it up and you know have that <laughs> have that at your discretion if you will um, it also does come with this tie this is a functional tie so if you like it and you want to have it done up you can if you want to you know rearrange where it sits on your waist you can do that as well so for me a lot of this would just be stylistic how would I be able to pull it off um, without hopefully looking like Paul Bunyan's date for the evening so um, overall though I do like it I'm really happy with the fit the color and uh, the way just the vibe overall with this one I'm happy with I just don't know if I like it necessarily for me and for like the lackadaisical vibe so I just wanted to throw this out there let there be a little bit of a dress option girl yes honey let's shimmy on into the next outfit ooh ooh Oh yeah, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, I'm tired. All right guys, so we're on to the next couple of pieces. I did go ahead and change out the pants. So let's go ahead and start there. These are the AE360 Next Level Super High Waisted Jegging. They retail originally for $49.95. I picked them up for $34.96. These are in the medium standard wash and they are a size 18 regular. Now let's go ahead and start off with comparing these to the other pair that I had on. Those, and I picked these up, Mainly just for comparisons just so you could see the difference in the waistline because the other ones the darker denim I was wearing those are their highest waist jegging and these are actually their super high waisted jegging so um, these ones are a little bit higher but honestly they're very very similar in cut and everything else my belly button is here and this is the top of the jean so for me because I do have all of this belly right here um, they fit me pretty similarly but if you are curious about any of these jeans and the actual inseam and like or 
how long, you know, how long they go up as far as the high waistedness of them. Um, you can go into the description and it'll say, oh, you know, this is 11, this is 10 inches, and they'll actually give you that measurement. So if you are looking for the highest, highest one you can get, something to keep in mind, just read the descriptions. American Eagle is great at um, really having all of that information in there for you. So just something to keep in mind. But these are just another wash of them, and I really love these um, because I like the way that they are faded slightly in toward the center of the thighs. It does create that slightly smaller thigh illusion, even though thighs for me aren't the biggest issue. Um, the only thing that I don't care for about these is that, and it's difficult too, because you guys are at like, this is, this is a weird freaking thing to do on camera, but um, you guys are at this like different level of like an angle. So it's difficult to show you what I'm talking about, but on camera, they create like this line right here. And just so you guys know it in real life, like if I take my hand and I push that out, it does go away. So keep in mind, if you were just like here in real life talking to me, there wouldn't be a shadow cast right here. Um, that's not part of the fade. It's just something that you're seeing on camera. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and talk about the top. And if you missed my Amazon haul, girl, you will know I don't have or have not had much luck with this whole off the shoulder moment and finding a top that will do it correctly. And I'm so, so impressed with this top. This is the AE off the shoulder cable knit sweater, originally retailing for $49. 95. I purchased it on sale for $34.96. It is, of course, in the color red, and I picked it up in the size XXL. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the overall fit. I just went ahead and I folded my bra straps down. So again, I'm still not wearing anything. Like, there's no spangalicious situation here, just my bra with the straps folded um, under the arms here. But what I like about this that I'm super impressed with is that they did a great job on the shoulder width. This is something I've talked about a ton, especially after that whole Amazon haul. Um, when it comes to being plus size and having broad shoulders like what I have, it's incredibly difficult to find shirts that will actually go off the shoulder, do it in a nice way, and I don't feel like it's going to be a constant struggle. I don't feel like it's cutting into me and making my shoulders kind of bulgy or, you know, like even how, you know, I don't know if anybody else has this. Hello, any hands, any takers? Um, but I carry so much weight on my back that sometimes these sweaters will actually emphasize that and they'll like put divots there and it's just not a cute situation. And with this one, I like that it doesn't do that. It's incredibly comfortable and it fits really well around the shoulders, which is difficult to do. Overall, I love the design of this one and I'm a big fan. I, like I've said a thousand times, will probably wear this with my black bra just so the black straps are here. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like I'm trying to merge like anything I own with an 80s vibe, but I love it when my black bra straps are here. So I probably would wear mine like that. I could wear it like this. It's very classic hair up, hair down. You can do a lot with something like this. Um, again, dress it up, casual, more sophisticated, however you want to roll. I just thought it was such a cute option. It's super, super soft too on like the touch department. Guys, it's a gr it's a beautiful cable knit. Like I, I, big fan, big fan. Now real quick, let's go ahead and plow through a couple of tops. I have this guy right here. This is the AE Mock Neck Bodycon Sweater. It retails originally for $34.95. I purchased it on sale for $24.46. It is in the shade True Black, obviously, and I have the size XXL. Now, let's go ahead and start talking a lot of the details. As you can see, this does have a ribbed texture or detail to it, um, which I really like. I feel like it creates a nice kind of flouncy like flow to it, as you can see. Like, look at that. That's just really nice. The sleeves are super comfortable. Comfortable. This material and texture is perfect. It's not soft like a sweater, but it's soft like a really, really nice, just soft shirt in general, but it doesn't have like that fuzzy feel to it. So just, you know, give a little distinction there. Um, as far as where it hits, it hits as it's specced on the internet, which this is my fault. It does say that it hits right below your waistband. I, of course, am wearing something high-waisted and it does fall right below my waistband. Um, it hits actually, I would say like a freckle below my belly button. So, you know, just something to keep in mind as far as size goes. I really, really, really like this top. My only issue with it, and again, it's just a personal preference, I would prefer it be a little bit longer. Like if I could have had this, I would say like right there, it would have been perfect. And that's just because it does elongate my torso a little bit. Now to solve that, I could just put like a tank top with it, a black tank top with it, call it a day, and that would be fine with me. Because for me, what I really am drawn to with this is the overall look of it. I feel like it gives like almost like a 1970s like spy quality. I don't know why, but I love the little mock neck that we have going on here. It's so nice 
nice. It's lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's choking you because if you're one of those people, girl, me too. I can't stand it when my turtlenecks feel like they're just getting to me. And this isn't. It's really nice. It's loose. I don't have any issues there. And okay, you guys, to bid you adieu, I am throwing on this sweater. This is one of my personal favorites, the one that I was so excited about. Um, this is the AE Fair Isle Pullover Sweater, originally retailing for $49.95. I got it on sale for $34.96. It does say it is in the color black, but as you can see, it is a multi-striped sweater. And my size that I picked up is an XXL. Now, let's go ahead and discuss the specs on this sweater because this is something I think um, a lot of people might be a little bit confused by. Even I was before I, or after I purchased it and before I looked on the internet, I put this on and I was like, girl, did they just send me a crop top sweater? I am so mad about this. Like I was kind of livid. Then I went on and I realized yet again, it was my fault. Um, I didn't read all of the information on the website. So I want to make sure to reiterate again to you, if you are not sure how something will fit, check the website. They do a great job at explaining it. Now for me, as far as overall fit style texture, do I love it? I am absolutely crazy about it as far as the design goes. I don't know how I feel about this on a level of um, where it hits on my body. I'm not sure if I'm being honest with you guys, if that's just 10 year old, 15, 20, 25, 30 year old Paige who still has like some lower belly insecurities, or if I genuinely just don't like the way that it looks. But I will tell you the following, okay? I love the print, number one. I think this is one of the cutest prints and styles that I have seen. It's very like classic Christmas sweater-esque for the holiday season or for winter or for whatever you celebrate. Very classic for this time of year, which I really, really love. Um, and I love the fact too that the stripes are a very flattering cut, which is something that you know, I personally I think we need to do away with. Like flattering is just whatever you're gonna rock, whatever you're gonna wear, consider it flattering, consider it, you know, golden. Like just rock what makes you comfy, what makes you happy. But in the traditional sense of that, I like the where they chose to place the stripes. I think that it does nice. They emphasize like the booble region. So if you are bustier, I think that you'll get, you know, a nice little emphasis out of that, which I think could be really cute. And it extends around the whole arm, which I think is really nice. You know, a lot of places they try to cheap out and they like, poof, like they paint roll over top of it and they don't give you like the full 360 experience. And I love that in this one, they do. And it's really cute. So just something to consider there. I love the sleeves. This is probably, if I'm being honest, what sold it to me, the sleeves, you guys, they are so freaking cute. Obviously you're going to see all of this in the close up, but I love, love how these fit. They tailor, they literally balloon out or down into these little, like nice little cinching wrist moments, but it's not like a tight cinch either. So it's still very comfortable. Now, as far as the overall feel of the material itself, it is a very nice light. Um, it's a very nice soft sweater material, I think is the way to describe it. It's not as soft as like the Sherpa or the red off the shoulder one. Those are a touch softer than this. But overall, you guys, that is today's haul. I'm sorry it was so long. I, I, I honestly thought going into this, like, girl, you can speed through it. But then I just always have so many things to say and so many damn thoughts and opinions. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did you like any of these? Do you want to pick any of them up? Of course, everything will be linked down below. So you don't ever have to worry about that as long as it is in stock, of course. And if it's not, well, I'll tell you that I can't find it. But um, guys, what are your thoughts and opinions? Do you like these? What is the next brand that you would like me to try out? Um, I'm not going to lie to you. After the Amazon one, I pretty much had my cart ready to go with American Eagle. And as long as I got more than like seven views on that girl, I was pumped and ready to go for this one because I love American Eagle. I shop there all the time. And I think they are, they're still in that spot for a lot of people where it's like, if you're plus size, you think you can't shop there. And there is a ton of stuff you can check out. And just remember, there is a return policy for a reason. And there is, you know, a, a try it on option. And you don't ever have to be embarrassed if you get it into your house and it doesn't fit. Like that's a personal moment. And you, it just because something doesn't fit, it, it's not, it's not a you issue. It's just, it doesn't fit like that. It's okay for things to not fit. And I just, that's something I've had to tell myself a lot. The tag says it should, but it doesn't. I just want you guys to know it's not a reflection of you or who you are or whatever. It's just that something doesn't fit. Just box it up, send it back, and don't let that be something that bothers you. Okay. Um, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I'm done now. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Again, let me know what you want to see next in this regard. Is there anything you're curious about? Please be sure to check me out on Instagram and on Twitter if you have not done so yet. They are both linked in the description. Most importantly, subscribe. Stick around here. I do put up three videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and those videos go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. But you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! So theoretically speaking, that would have worked. Okay. Are we down to the pants yet? Literally not even close. Okay, cool. 
Okay, that's not solving anything, Paige. Okay, so I love that you can't see my pants at all. Okay, cool. Okay, now we can see the floor and not my face. Okay, this is going well. Okay, that made it worse. It's just the tape, don't worry. Oh yeah, and then there's the boom stand. That's also a situation. Okay, it's literally in the middle of my frame. Love that. That did nothing. Okay, why? Why did that do nothing? Okay, there's lots of room for dancing. Okay, this is good. And that's why I can't film with the window open.